Yes, we had to overcome the, the leader of the National Unity Platform and uh, we guided him to his home. You, you, you took away the excitement that the people had. It is, um, of course, uh, president of a political party that is uh, returning home and people wanted to welcome him and you took away all that excitement but also beat up journalists and arrested them. Well, to begin with, this was uh, what they had dubbed uh, the one million people march. So this was a plan to, of one million people to welcome one person and uh, you know they, they would otherwise be on the road and overwhelm the road, overwhelm the premises of the airport, in which case now it would have paralyzed the whole business process on that road. So we thought it wise to guide him home without interfering with the other business or rather other users of the facilities at the airport one and the road. So we, th the, we thought it, what we have done is convenient both to him and to, to, to the other users. About the welcome, they can as well welcome him from his home in Magere. They can go there, meet him. Nobody has denied them that response. The, ho the home where you've chance. deployed uh, hundreds of officers. Um, he now has just tweeted a few minutes ago that his fence was broken uh, by the security itself. So well, even if they wanted to go and welcome him, they can't. No, people went there. I think people went there, members of parliament went there, and some of his relatives are there. Chao Granyi is not under arrest, was not put under any arrest up to now. He can move out, people can move in, and uh, any other allegation I think is not correct. What, what about the deployment? What guarantees it? There was a police uh, helicopter hovering over his house. There's a lot of deployment around his fence. Basically, it's secure, it's secure him. Secure him and also ensure that there is peace and security in the, in the city. That was all. Yes. Uh, did you pick anything else just beyond the welcoming that you used to act on? Yes, there was information and they were actually overt about it. The people, the organizers of that one million march was overt. They were not hiding anything. Everything was on, on the media. Mm. They were inviting their people to the extent after of inciting some other members of the public. And... Uh, so it was already known to everybody. They wanted to bring such a huge an, an, um, amount of people on the roads, affect or disrupt the business operations of some people in town, in the process breaching the security, affecting the road use of Ventebe. Look at even the hygiene of Ventebe itself. If you power there one million people, what would it amount to? Mm. Let's talk about um, what would you say to the journalists that were beaten, cameras confiscated and damaged and arrested at the Entebbe CPS? What, what was the intention? These, no, are, that, that, these are friendly forces. I think that was a, a mistake. Whoever did it was a mistake. We, are, we operate together with journalists. Journalists are our allies. There was no reason whatsoever to arrest them or even damage their equipment. So we're going to investigate that matter, and whoever is found culpable, he'll face the disciplinary action. Is, is it something you're going to take on yourself as deputy IGP to make sure it is yes, a concluded matter? Yes, for sure. Because they were on camera um, after they were released from police and saying they demand an apology, but also uh, their cameras destroyed. It's uh, something that um, did not go well with them. We, we're going to investigate this matter. It is definitely not good. You know, we have been allies, we've worked together, and uh, it was uh, absolutely not necessary to antagonize any member of the press because already this, this, this situation had been cooled. Mm. The situation had been brought to, to, to some level of sanity. There was no need whatsoever. L so, lastly, um, what is the general security situation in Kampala right now? Because uh, there's a lot of deployment whatever I passed. There's uh, police trucks moving and hovering around and massive cars of, of police. I were wondering, is, is there anything that you know that we do not know? No, generally, the general situation in Kampala is, is very well. It's very good. It's calm. It was only that we were, we were preparing to, to contain any eventuality that would have resulted from this unwarranted number of people that were invited to, to come to Kampala. So if it has come, then why did you arrest the um, members of the National Team Platform supporters of Chagulan? He says 300 mm. of them were arrested. Well, that's what he says. Do you have anyone in custody? No, we don't. We don't. We, I think he was just imagining. and uh, There was absolutely no need for arresting anybody. Mm. So 
if there were any other rest it could have been for other crimes other than uh, uh, the so-called welcome general uh, Geoffrey Katsigazi thank you for speaking to us this evening thank you thank you so much